probably don't need to have a whole bunch of stuff on my back. Okay. The road notifications are coming back. Right. Somebody has delivered my cargo. Okay, what's going on here right now? I gotta accept the new orders, but why the heck do I have so much stuff? Engineer craftsman, that's right. For the craftsman, can I just entrust it to somebody else? The engineer, I might want to do it myself, just cause it's it's a pretty big difference actually. 120 versus 200. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe for now. Mm, well, we're not gonna go that way. So I think for now, I'll just put it in my locker. Both of them. Oh yes, for the craftsman. I've got this other standard order here, too. Okay, I spent some time organizing my inventory. Think we're ready to go now? If we auto-arrange. Basically, I put all the crap back into my private locker, and I also made my level 2 boots. Yes, on the clip, and both what I'm wearing right now. So I think we're ready to go. One thing that I'm not too sure about is... Today, are we gonna see BTs or mules? We have a bola gun, which works for both things, so I think we should be okay on that end. But I can't help but feel like I'm carrying a lot of BT or um, hematic grenades right now. But you can never have too many, I suppose. Even though I feel like my default reaction to seeing a BT is to run away. <laughs> well, you know, we'll see. Oh. If you can see at the bottom there, it says that we have 204 chiral crystals now because I went to claim materials and I took some from the facility. Because if we're gonna use a floating carrier, I don't want to run out in the middle. Okay, let's go take on some orders then. Or deliver some stuff with a bot. Whoa. Oh my god, 99% cargo damage. <gasps> what? I thought the bot estimated like 40% or something. That bad? Are we even gonna get any likes for this? <laughs> one. One for the extra one. See, new record. When it says new record, I'm guessing it means for each mission. 80 likes? Is that even worth doing anymore at this point? I really don't know. You have been awarded the title of Elite Mover. Few porters can claim to be as reliable as you. 99% <laughs> cargo damage. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Bridge Link Grade 40. Okay. Well, I mean, if you let me pick, I still want to do some bot deliveries just because one more delivery the bot does means one less delivery I have to do. Maybe we'll just pick some more safe ones. Like for example, this one. 75% post-delivery condition. Oh, post-delivery condition! I think last time I might have misread it as damage. So that the higher number is actually better here. Yeah, okay. Just do this one, okay? Um, I feel like this world, at the rate we're going right now, we're tending more and more toward automation. But if the cargo condition is gonna be like that... Well, we're probably gonna have some technological advances anyway, so maybe not something I have to worry about too much. First of all, get rid of the legs on the robot and make it into a tank, okay? <laughs> That's my recommendation. Standard orders go to Timefall Farm. Not going that way right now, so let's not. How's this one doing? Uh, no, this is the... Oh my god, it says elapsed time two hours. This is the one I picked up from the craftsman. Oh well, you can keep waiting, Herman. <laughs> not my problem. Today, we're going to the junk dealer and the film director. They live pretty close by. This one has a time limit, so let's do that one first. Uh, I think we've heard the briefing already. Heads up, Sam. This junk deal is probably going to give you a hard time. He's got a rep for demanding the impossible and lodging complaints when folks don't come through. As usual, he wants a bunch of scrap, and he wants it ASAP, for whatever reason. According to Fragile's records, he's nothing but trouble. Doubt he'll treat you any better than he treated her, but I want you to do your best for him, regardless. If you're going to meet his deadline, you'll have to move fast. But don't take unnecessary risks and endanger yourself or your cargo. 
Oh, and if you're wondering why we don't just tell this guy to go to hell, we can't. Fact is, we need his shelter if we're going to push ahead with expanding the network. So, we've got to get on his good side. Easier said than done, considering how little interest he's shown in joining the UCA. But be nice, and if nothing else, try to get him to contract with us. Preppers need us because they want to be able to get materials and deliveries, but it's also a fact that we need them too. It's a pretty mutual relationship here. Although if you look at our chiral network map, most people want to be part of the UCA. This is the Elder. Yeah, they only have a contract with us to be for the deliveries. They don't want to be part of the UCA. The junk dealer seems like an annoying guy though, but he's pretty close by, distance-wise. Although I'm a little bit worried about the terrain. There's no time fall at least, just wind. The fact that there is a wash tower here kind of makes me think that we're probably going to be de dealing with mules today. But this is really mountainous looking, especially this strip of land that we're looking at here. So I think I have ladders and climbing anchors with me. I think we'll be okay on that end, but just I should probably... Is it going to be okay for me to ride a bike? I'm just wondering if it's so mountainous. I don't know. We haven't really tried using the floating carrier that much yet, and uh, I kind of wonder if it'll even work on flat land or mountainous land. Or does it only work downhill, pretty much? Yeah, I don't think there is anything we're looking for. Okay. Oh, that's right! I left my bike back at the BT area, and now it's probably completely dead. Why don't we try using somebody else's bike, then? Yeah? Yeah, we'll try using this fancy Evangelion bike. I wonder if the person painted it with Evangelion in mind, because it really looks like that machine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Evangelion Unit 1. It's the exact same color scheme. Okay, if we're gonna use a bike, then we're not gonna use a floating carrier. Okay. I think it'll be fine. Can we really not have both at the same time? Oh, hold on. I thought the bike was gonna be here? Hello? <laughs> Did I not take it out properly? Probably not. Yeah, I just looked at it, didn't I? How do you paint it, though? I know we got some colors, but... Oh, maybe when we make a new one. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I gotta put this away first. Which is okay. Carrying a lot of stuff again, though. Kind of worries me a little bit. And... I didn't auto-arrange it. Oh, whatever. We'll be fine. Well, first of all, we probably want to plot a path. How about a straight line? <laughs> There's a bridge here. Okay. Sam, it's Raja. Though he calls himself a junk dealer now, your client used to work in comms as a repairman. Could fix anything, from simple wireless terminals to integral parts of the civic network. He was a good man, a pleasure to deal with. But after the attack near South Knot City, he changed. Not that I blame him. We gave him plenty of reason to distrust us. So he sounds jaded. Maybe we can change his mind. Hmm. Oh no! It seems like this bridge isn't even built yet. So we can't get across it with a the bike then. Uh, this is a little bit risky, but I'm wondering if I should... Let's see. Uh! Oh! <laughs> oh, they block you. I was gonna try to boost over that, but it seems like that's not possible. Should I just try to walk around then? But I don't even see where this connects anymore. Hmm. This needs 800 metals? Since the distribution center is right here, maybe I should just freaking build this thing. Yeah, it's not gonna take too long anyway. Our delivery is timed, I am aware of that. But 45 minutes, in our experience so far, I think it's plenty enough. 
Even the pizza only took literally two minutes. Yeah. So just hold on, hang tight. Let me grab some materials from the place and we can probably just build a bridge right here. Oh, thanks for letting me use your bike, by the way. I'll like it when I'm done. Oh. Oh no. The terminal won't come up because I'm too close to the thing, I think. Yeah. 800 medals, I think? This is just me withdrawing stuff from the center. It doesn't cost anything. Carry by hand? Oh no, are you kidding me? I gotta carry this by hand? Oh man! Then that means I can't- Oh, I'm carrying too much stuff! I need to just... I need to offload some of this stuff. <laughs> is that possible? Or... Well, I can bring it over there with a floating carrier, but... Then I'll have to walk back for the bike. <laughs> God damn it! Every, every solution I can think of means we'll have to come back again. Why don't we just make this quick then? Fine. Thank you, thank you. God damn it. I'll come back for you. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, but look at that. 800 medals and it's in one container. So far from what we've seen, in the claim materials section, you can get a container that's like 100 medals or 200 medals or 400 medals. And they all seem to be the same size. Well, not same size, but just because the container is one size, it doesn't mean that it has a certain amount of materials. Because I'm pretty sure we've never seen 800 medals in one thing before, like this. I think this really just means that if you want to build stuff, you should plan carefully, because as far as I know, you can't split up the materials. And you don't really want to waste any, right? So we got to plan this out. Eight hundred. This better be worth it. Spending time building a bridge instead of making a delivery. Please stand clear of the designated construction area. Oh. Gotta get off. Well, perfect time for me to go and get the bike. Alrighty. Bit of a trek. It's been a long time since we built a bridge. Maybe even... Um, I didn't look at that canyon that well, but maybe even just using a ladder would have been okay. But the bridge is nice because you can get battery from it. Or, well, not battery, but you don't waste any battery by riding on it. I wonder if the auto paper has made any progress, because I don't feel like the road's extending over here yet. We have a dirt road, but that's it. Oh, look how much we've traveled along here. But the bridge itself is still stuck back here. Maybe that's a sign that I should be going to help out. Well, maybe after this trip. And we also gotta try to convince the film director to join the network, too. Lots of things we gotta do here. <laughs> so good at driving. I think I wanna get to the watchtower first, just to see what's around here. Especially because we're out of the network now, I think. Yeah... I want to pick up cargo, but I don't want to get to that situation again where I'm toppling over. Because I have a lot of stuff on me right now already. If I'm riding around on a bike, I really shouldn't be carrying around floating carriers, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, what? Okay, that's where we're trying to go to. <laughs> but there's mules with bikes. And the film director is here. 
So this time we have mules and BTs. Oh man, that's really not so good. How come there's so much stuff there? Is that my stuff? What the heck? Oh, maybe there's a porter walking around, because it seems like maybe there's a bunch, and they're moving a little bit. Yeah, that might be it. Anyway, though, we gotta deal with our current problem here. That pipeline thingy! That's what I was trying to say last time. We saw it in the distance, but then the BTs distracted me. Okay. Um... Well, this whole area is kind of like... I can use a bridge here, I guess. Or... Hmm. If I have a bike, I can probably outrun them, including that truck. That's my current plan for now. I'm not here to fight. I'm a deliverer, not a fighter. <laughs> Although circumstances have been forcing me to be otherwise. But we'll see if we can make it through this peacefully. But... Even just looking around like this though, there's no tall grasses, it's all just land. But I also feel like it's a lot less mountainous than I thought it was, to begin with. So we can probably just speed through this, if I can- oh shoot. Oh! That was a real close one. Hey, look at that! I negated the ping! Successfully! Over there. Okay, they're probably gonna see me visually anyway, but I think we'll be fine. Oh, frick, but well, we have another... Hmm. We can get over here. Oh, my god! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no, oh no! Oh no. My god. Oh, no. No. This is very bad. What have I done? Oh, no. <gasps> what about the bike? Is it just gonna be stuck here now? Oh, I was even trying to celebrate what happened just now, too. No! No! This is a nightmare! More importantly, what about the cargo? I gotta check on it, too. Sorry, buddy. Did that hurt? Oh, no. It's not the mules getting me today. That's why the land looks so freaking mountainous. It's not mountains, it's ravines. Oh. Okay, okay. We're still okay, but what am I gonna do now? Because this bike is down here. Is there a way for me to ride it back up? It looks kind of damaged too, and... <laughs> what am I gonna do? What about my cargo? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I've really... <laughs> I've really outdone myself this time. Okay. Maybe if I ride this, I can kind of get around. My first mission right now is I want to get out of this place with the bike. Because it's not my bike, mainly. Not because I really care about the bike. But I am honestly not too sure if that's going to be possible. <laughs> We might have to leave it here. Do they know I'm here? I don't know. Oh, okay, you know what? Oh no, they definitely know. I think we gotta get out of here soon. Like, today. Sorry! I'll bring back your bike another day, alright? As soon as I get out of here... Yeah, they're all here. But how are they gonna cross this place? Okay. Okay, they know the cargo is there. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is a really hectic one this time. Oh. Thought that might have been another ravine. Oh. Ten minutes have passed for my delivery. The old component, that's already kind of wrecked. So that's wonderful. 
Oh, frick. No, I gotta go that way. Dang, you know, that could have gone okay, but ugh, I really shouldn't have brought the bike. The bike was a bad choice. <laughs> I was so proud of the first one, too, because I boosted over. But, oh, God. They were definitely trying to trick me. Two gaps in a row, my God. It's horrible. And since it's our first time here, we can't get access to the Chiral Network signs. So even though some people might have told us, Hey, watch out, there's a cliff here. I'll never get to see it. Anyway, whatever. I think we're out of the territory and... <laughs> have they stolen my bike? Okay, I feel really bad about that because that wasn't my bike. And I never got a chance to like it. To thank the person for lending me their bike yet. Oh, man. Where the heck is the guy? Is he over there? Oh, jeez! <laughs> What's happening to me today? I'm trying to run too fast. Okay, no amount of container spray is gonna fix this. I really have to be careful. I might want to use it a little bit right now, though. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> I don't even want to look at the cargo damage on it, because I'm a little bit scared. Oh man, today's not shaping up to be a good day. This is probably a sign that I shouldn't be... I shouldn't do too many fragile things today. It's just not a delivering kind of day. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to the private room and just do a lot of readings. <laughs> what the heck is happening here? Peralium contaminated cargo, crater lake. There's so much. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> Let me just have a look at it first. Okay, 18%. That's better than I thought it was gonna be. What about the tablet? This one's not looking so good. Why does the container have 0% damage, but the actual cargo itself has more? <laughs> Why? Oh, man. For future reference, though, if my bike is down in that ravine area, how can I get it back up? Oh, whoa. It's a memory, right? You look so solid. What? She's not blue. Long time gone, my girl. All because of some terrorist nutjobs and their buddies at Fragile Fucking Express. Not to mention the Bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. <sighs> Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time, like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? Well, he didn't comment on the damage. I suppose it can't be that bad. S! I got an S from that, seriously? I feel like it's not an S. As far as I'm concerned, all you porters are no better than terrorists. And nothing you say will convince me otherwise. So take your Cupid and fuck off. Hostile guy. Well, okay then. Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Now, he seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into it. Hey, Sam. I was looking through my old client database on the off chance I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery terminal and see what he wants. Good work. New order available. 
Please access delivery terminal for further information. That guy seems super bitter, but we don't know his full story, so I don't think we should just be like, oh, whoa, what an asshole. Let's just see what comes out of this. Especially because Fragile said that he used to be nice. Yeah, where the hell is that? Hey, oh, that's the road that we were looking at before. Oh, this must be Crater Lake then, huh? Wow, that's... Hmm. There's another crater there. Hopefully that's not a void out too. What is that place? Old components. Required delivery weight. 60 kilograms or more. Cargo collection from a BT area. Wonderful. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to the film director first, and then I'll come back here, alright? What's going on here? Why is there so much random cargo here? Is it because it's all messed up? Cairo waste. Cargo that has been contaminated with Keralium and marked for disposal. The bottom of a crater lake is the ideal disposal location. Pick up the cargo and take it to the nearest lake. Okay. Well, yeah, like I said, let's go to the film director first. Before we do any of this. He won't connect us! Is all of this junk his? Feels like it might be the kind of location where you can find a memory chip. Weapons restrictions lifted. Junk disposal. I think we got some other messages here too, yeah. Sam Bridges, I have a job for you, should you be interested. A pile of junk has accumulated near my shelter, and it needs to be disposed of. There is a problem, however. Some of the aforementioned waste products may be contaminated by Keralium, which means that the only safe place in which to dispose of them is the Crater Lake to the south. Should be easy enough for a Bridges man such as yourself, but it's up to you whether you take on the job or not. It would certainly help me view you and your kind more favorably if you were to agree to help me, however. <laughs> this guy's so bitter, but he's still using a whole bunch of thumbs up at the end. It makes it feel very strange. Hmm, well, we'll see. Anything left outside America? From Alex. Sam, thanks again. You've done a great deal to keep things ticking here at the weather station, which we appreciate. And the chiral network? It's incredible. If you can continue to expand coverage with your Cupid, it won't be long before we'll have real-time tracking of meteorological phenomena all over the continent. We still won't have much of an idea what's going on elsewhere, but there is not a whole lot we can do about that. And, while I may be chasing rainbows, I still hope we can get a view from above the clouds one day. It's crazy. No one really knows what's happened to the rest of the world, even now. Maybe the stranding destroyed everything except America. Maybe we're the only ones shrouded in clouds of Cairo matter. And the rest of the world is carrying on without us. Or maybe the whole damn universe got wiped out, and we're all that's left, floating in space. Alright, that last one's just me being a pessimistic ass. But the point stands, we need to know what's out there. And to do that, we need you to bring out the whole continent to the network. You're our best hope, Sam. Our only hope, in fact. No pressure. Well, I think we read something previously that suggested the same thing has happened in other places, but maybe officially we don't know. But the fact that if we... Okay, let's say that America is the only place where the Death Stranding happened. Then other places, I feel like, would start sending airplanes and stuff over here and check out, hey, what's going on with America? But to my knowledge, that hasn't happened. So probably they were affected in some way. In the same way as us, we don't know, but they can't get here. They can't contact us, either way. You're an inspiration, says Thomas Sutherland. Sam, I owe you an apology. In my last mail, I made it sound like you were on the fast track to becoming obsolete. Oh, I didn't get that at all. Guess I was caught up in my excitement over that delivery bot. Maybe I didn't let it show so much, but I was glad to find you on our doorstep again. Seriously. Sure, the bots are useful and less risky, but that doesn't mean we don't still need guys like you. If anything, we need you now more than ever. You're a symbol, an inspiration. When people see you risking your neck out for the rest, they have something to aspire to. I'm not saying that everybody should charge off into the wilderness, of course, but I think you're a great example of how we can work towards a better future. People need that. Hell, I need that. <laughs> kind of getting the impression that this guy might be thinking, Oh shoot, maybe if I don't say something to Sam, he's gonna turn into a mule. Quick, let's type a really positive email to make sure that he doesn't turn into that. And are you kidding me? Come now, man. This is really not my jam. 
Well, I think I remember the map only showed that a very small location. Oh, frick, is that mine? That's probably mine. I'll come back for that. Yeah, but the weather... Actually, we can walk out of it. We can walk out of it. I think. Yeah. We got the power skeleton. Let's make use of it. Hurry up, chop, chop. Well, it didn't go so well this time with the falling down the ravine and all, but overall... Well, we didn't let the mule touch us. Although, I don't know what they've done with my bike. Not even my bike, somebody else's bike. Oh, I feel really bad about that. Oh no, okay, this is really bad because, um... I think most of my hematic grenades are at the same level of damage. And after we go to the film director, we're gonna come back here and do the cargo collection from a BT area. But at that point, if all my hematic grenades are useless, then... That's... Uh-oh. I think we gotta make this a quick trip. And I don't know why the rain's not letting up. Thought it was supposed to. Are we walking on a volcano right now? Kinda getting that impression. And hey, that's a private room, right? Maybe I can make use of that. Yeah, we don't have any network coverage here. But hopefully the film director is gonna give you some stuff. Oh, hey! Fresh bread on the ground! Well, he doesn't have to know it came from the ground. <laughs> Lovely. It also kind of freaks me out when they immediately give me likes as soon as I pick up something. Like, how do you know that happened? Stop spying on me, please. Okay, the rain's let up. <laughs> I'm not even walking on a road right now. This is just... What is this? Molten lava? Hey. Yeah, maybe we didn't walk in here the right way, because this seems really weird. Oh! Oh, check that out. Millennium Prepper. Nobody around here. Hey man, do you like some uh, fresh bread and tablets? Like an iPad? Do iPads even work anymore? Because you can probably use it offline, but the Wi-Fi wouldn't work. You would have to, like, rework it for the chiral network. What do we have here? A delivery? For me? Is this one of Kojima's friends? Film director. So this is what passes for professional service. Alright then. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, the road was a little bit bumpy. Hmm. Oh, that was fragile cargo too. Oh, I'm very sorry about that. At the minimum, would you like to join up with us via the Cupid and all that? At least I got bread for you. Hey. Yeah. Ah, the infamous Chiral Network. I'll agree to a trial run, but just of the network. UCA is a whole other matter. So you can connect me, yes? Well, okay. Go ahead then. Do we know the full differences between just connecting versus becoming a UCA member? We gotta have more benefits for becoming a member so that people get incentivized. Just like the old man said, the elder, he's like, well, if I can get deliveries just by being with Bridges, but not being a UCA, then why would I be with a UCA? We need a- we need a marketing director here. Alright. Got a little chunk here. 
Film director. Yes! Oh no. <laughs> Look at those BTs! Oh god. Hmm. Interesting. I'll think about joining the UCA at a later day. I have something for you. A token of my appreciation. Fresh bread? Take it. I insist. Ooh. JF Ray, Sam sunglasses. Okay. So long, Sam Bridges. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they aren't quite as cyber looking, but New order available. Can I wear it? Delivery terminal or further. This is Luden's mask, sunglasses. Sam. Oh. Did I not wear it? A pair of sunglasses specially designed for Sam, of which she is very fond. Although he was not personally involved in their development, they fit him perfectly and suit him to a T. Is this like Ujima's glasses or something? It kind of looks like it. Standard orders? Craftsman? Lake Knot City. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's way too far. A lot of likes. But very far. Look at this one! Freaking 522 kilograms? What the hell is this? Defective Cairo printer cartridges. Signed photographs of movie stars. <laughs> to the craftsman? Okay. No, no thank you. Okay, so hold on. Ah, oh, I can't make anything here. I'm a little bit worried about my hematic grenades. 79% damage. And they're all around that same kind of damage. Which means... They're all gonna break at the same time. That's really not good for me. Yeah, I don't think so. Right when I need it, they're all gonna fade away. Oh. I probably should have just recycled them. But I'm not gonna do it now, because I... I'm still holding out hope that I'll be able to use it when I need it. So very unfortunately, we can't do any refills on anything here, but... We'll just have to keep on trucking on. Unless... If that private locker... The private room is pretty close by. It's right here. Actually, yeah, this is a good place to go to because it's on the way back to the junk dealer anyway. Heck yeah. And then my floating carrier. <laughs> I'll remember to get it. Don't you worry. Wash tower here. Oh man, that bike. It's still there. Oh my gosh, durability 9%. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. How do I show my sorry? By making a new bike and putting it back in the garage. I think that's the best option here. So whenever we get back to the distribution center, that's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be the most amazing and beautiful bike ever. But for now, we'll just have to keep going on. I want to get to... The private locker, the private room. Hey, somebody's lost cargo. Hey, we're gonna go to the private room. I guess I can pick it up. Is that another bike over here? Oh, wow. Um, I don't think this will catch anything. It's very foggy here, but I think it's steam. It's steam, right? I think we're in... Uh, I'm not really sure where the middle of America... Like, what does it have? But it looks like we're near some kind of volcanic area. Is it okay if I use this? I feel bad, but I'd love to. Thank you. I'll give you tons of likes when I get off. So how do these bikes appear randomly around here? Do you just leave them around? Is that how that happens? Fresh water? Okay. Sure. Whoa, that's kind of heavy. Um, There's no terminal back in the private room. Yeah, so if I want to deliver the lost cargo, probably doing it over here would be... A good idea. Yeah, whatever, just freaking... Mm, 
No, 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 no. Share a locker? Is that what I want to do? Or... Entrust for delivery. Deliver lost cargo. Yeah, it's, it's the same screen, right? Wait, it's the same thing, right? It's a different screen. But we end up back with the same thing. Okay, so look. This one, to the Timefall Farmer. It gave us 50 likes. And earlier, the bot delivery gave us 80 likes. <laughs> so, the bot, so the bot deliveries are actually really, really bad. If the damage is too high. Hmm. Okay. Well, we got that going on. Hello! Hey, you. What's actually replying to us anyway? Oh, it's somebody's mushroom. Hmm, well. I can do that too. 18 milliliters. I didn't drink anything the whole day. Phoebe likes it. Oh wow, that's so little, there's not even a mushroom. Maybe we at least need like a hundred grams or something. I'm Sam! Thanks for the hook. This one's for you. Today's a good day. Thanks for the Hey man. I feel so much regret. Not having given the other person likes, so I'm trying to redeem for it. Well, do I even still need to go to this private room here, or...? I don't think so, right? Whoa! That's awesome! Yeah, but there's no reason for me to go back now, I don't think, so... We'll keep going on. Because what I wanted to do was to make more new grenades, but if there's no terminal here, then I can't do that. Okay. Not sure what's going on here. <gasps> Wait, what? Hold on. We're not bound by a delivery right now, so we can do whatever we want. Technically. No, 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 no. Why are you such a bummer? No, 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 I wanted to go over there. This way. Level 2 bola gun. I'll pick it up. It seems like there's something interesting over here, though. Oh! <gasps> it's a mud bath. Yeah? Crater digestive bath. Is it okay if I just... Uh, I can't help if... Yeah, it feels nice. Uh, is this good? I think it's good? What, I'm just... What? What, in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> the crater digestive bath. The elevated chloride content of the spring is speculated to be the result of its close proximity to salt water, as well as the tar of the nearby crater lake. Though its waters are cloudy, its singular capacity to facilitate bowel movements. <laughs> well, we gotta make sure we know where the toilets are later on then. Oh wow. This is so random. I don't know what that means. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Now this is living. I don't know what that whole song was about, but that was... Mm, that's the stuff. That song was basically me doing the, Hey, is anybody out there? But for some reason, it was a song with the people around here. Soak it in, Sam. Soak it in. How are you doing, BB? Mm, that's the stuff. Now this is living. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Good thing we're not at a time delivery right now. Soak it in, Sam. Soak it in. Beautiful. Well, it was like I just repatriated. 
I can't believe he just took off all his clothes in the middle of nowhere and went for a hot spring bath. <laughs> Seriously? Hey, where'd I leave the bike? Where'd I leave the bike? Oh, over here. Alright. Over here! Yeah. Likers get light. I'll leave a sign here too, because I want to be part of the likes. <laughs> Don't pee in the pool! Yeah, that's not good. Don't pee here. I just suddenly forgot how to make a sign. Hold on. <laughs> no... Uh... Where was the no peeing sign? Yes. Here we go. Alrighty. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. I'm Sam. Yeah, so these are the things that's been making calls around us. I don't know how you get those, though. All right. Well, first things first, I gotta go get back- well, actually, first thing would be, let's pick up this chiral crystal here. It's huge! That's a big one. Yeah! And then the second item on the list would be to get the floating carrier I dropped earlier. We used to pack into the theaters. Maybe not such a good idea coming here with a bike, though. I don't know. Ooh! Careful. I came back for you. I wonder how the whole thing would have turned out. Us coming over here if I didn't use a bike, but a floating carrier instead. I feel like in that case, then the mules probably would have been able to get me pretty quickly because they had a truck. There we go. But then. I wouldn't have had that whole incident about falling down into the ravine, at least. The bike was pretty much broken, too. I feel so bad about that. But there's nothing I can do about it, unless if I can drive it back into a repair place. Mm. Okay. So, ooh, mm. Should I use a bike here? No, you know what? Let's not use a bike here, because... Yes, because number one, I want to carry all this to the Crater Lake, and number two, we're going to a BT area now, so I don't want to use a bike. What I'm going to do is set down the floating device first. <laughs> I wish this had a better name. It's so clunky to say. Floating carrier. Let's get a move on. Mm-hmm. You're getting a little bit too close, buddy. Here we go. 60 kilograms. Yeah, I think it would be good for us to use a floating carrier here, because that bike ain't gonna cut it. All right. Where is it? Did you give it to me already, or... Hold on, what? What am I looking at? <laughs> I don't see the thing. Okay. I mean, I just see what I'm carrying right now, but not the stuff you want to give me. Order oh, because we're trying to get it! Yes, we're trying to go to the place to get the cargo. That's why there's nothing here. That's why. Okay. We can make the bot do something else? How's this one? Oh my god, 91% damage. This is really bad. Like, seriously, is that even worth doing? 38 likes! That's awful! I feel like that's actually ruining my <laughs> reputation. The estimations all seem to be... Well, there's nothing I can do here. The estimations seem to be quite off. 